I've been enamored with public domain art lately. There's a lot of inspiring work, and it's exciting to think that all these can be used and repurposed in new projects. Recently, I created an ad where I used sounds from public domain films to help create a 70s horror-inspired feel. Take this thunder sound effect, for example. From a modern library, you would have a pretty realistic representation, closer to how you might experience thunder in person. But this is thunder from a 1959 horror film. It has this unmistakable textured quality, maybe even unreal in some ways. These kinds of sounds give me the texture I was looking for, and after finishing the ad, I thought, it could be helpful to put aside some of the sounds for future use. So I've started to do that, beginning with the film I use the most, House on Haunted Hill. This download has 64 sounds in WAV format, and they're individually cut, edited, labeled, and organized into folders. The charge is for that service, but you could do the same thing for free. There are sites with public domain films for download, and in your editing software, you can listen through the film and clip out each usable sound as it comes up. Apart from avoiding sounds during dialogue and music, I'd suggest you add some extra handles to each sound to make it more usable. For example, this sound of a bag landing on a table. Well, where is everybody? The dialogue picks up right after. To fix that, you could grab some room tone from a quiet moment further in the scene. Are we all strangers to each other? And combine that with a short dissolve. That's the approach I took for the whole film when I made my pack. If this sounds interesting to you, I plan to keep adding new sound effects packs broken down by each film. Also, check out these public domain resources for yourself. 